Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Round, round, get around, I get around, yeah, get around, round, round, I get around, I get around. Hey, right, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, man, I smile because I smile because I'm happy, but I smile because this car makes me happy. And the reason why it makes me happy is I look at it and I go, what was this time and era like? There was no, you know, we played in our yards. We, uh, we used a regular oven. We, we listened to a radio and TV was just kind of coming out in its infancy. And we started gathering around to see that stuff. And then in the sixties, when uh, we started to go to the moon and things like that, the jet age was upon us. All of these things happening is influenced in the style of this car. So people ask me all the time, like, what's your favorite car? And that's impossible to say. It's like saying, what's your favorite kid, right? Like we have kids, we love our kids for different reasons, right? This is in my top five of my favorite cars in the world because there's so much effort and style put into this car. For instance, the jet age was here. And so here is the jet engine intakes, right? And this jet engine style right here the front of the plane. And as we move on down the side, fender vents, that piece there. And as we walk around the back, you'll see the jet exhaust coming out, right? And it's just like, man, this car is cool. And this car uh, looks great inside here, but imagine this car going down the road. Going down the road, it is a supermodel amongst all the other cars out there. Every car show you'd ever go to, if you go to work in this car, you go to dinner with another couple in this car, you take the kids out in this car, this is a life-changing experience. It's therapy with a key, all right? Let's talk about some paint first. We'll come on up here, we'll talk about that, all right? Matador Red, what a great color. What a great color. Beautiful finish, we've had this car wet sanded and buffed. These, uh, the gold accents here, are part of the package of the car which adds such great style to it. You can see the effort and detail and the dollars put into the restoration of this. Look at all the chrome. It's all beautifully done. It's all uh, just lined up the way it's supposed to be and it, each piece is new and the screws are nice and they're not rusty and all the pieces are there and I think that when you drive this car you know a lot of people say wow that's a great looking car but they never know why it's a great looking car. Well this is part of it. All of these chrome pieces are done. And then we add here wide white radials to make for a great ride. These are real wire wheels. These are not wheel covers, right? These are true spokes and they're expensive. This whole package is probably somewhere around $3,500 for wheels and tires on this car and it looks really, really nice. I think my personal experience on that. Opinion on that. All right, so come on, we'll keep rolling around. This insert, right? Probably one of the greatest styling pieces of any car ever with the Bel Air call outs, right? Come on back here. And this is the fun part about this car is now we're seeing a little bit more of the jet. Come on back on this side here, if you could, around the back. Look at the jet. The jet is here. The jet's in this car, the jet's in the style, and going down the road, it's cool. Now, the best part about this car is, what you want to do is when it's in your garage and you have some friends come over, they say, oh man, you've got your Bel Air, I just want to walk out and see it. Yeah, if you don't mind, uh, just check the gas cap and make sure it's tight for me. 10 minutes later, go back out there, they're still looking for the gas cap because they can't find the gas cap anywhere. I'm gonna show you where it is, and you may already know where it is, but most people, 99% of the grit eating world does not know about that, and that's from, from my cousin Vinny. Grits cook quicker on your stove than mine. Anyway, right here, we're gonna open that on up, and hidden inside here is that. How cool is that, man? I love that. All right, all right, since we're here, let's just uh, open the trunk real quick. All right, we'll take a peek since we're rolling through and we'll see what this looks like. All right, so detailed here with the insulation in it. Over here, jacking instructions. Painted and detailed inside with the correct mat, right? Antenna, look how nicely restored this car is. You've seen the pictures of it online underneath. The underneath is beautifully done as well and that has a lot to do with how well this car drives is wrapped up underneath. Not the shiny paint on top, but the suspension, the bushings, the rear end, all that stuff's been rebuilt, refinished and restored and that's why this car drives so well. And that right there is a good sign. You know what, why we're doing this? Because we need to lube those hinges and that's what we're going to do before you get this car. All right. So this is what you want to be looking for when you're looking for an investment grade car, right? This is original, correct coated, power pack, 
car. You say, well, the power pack doesn't seem like that big a deal. It's a big deal, let me tell you. The reason why it's a big deal is because not, not many of these cars came with that. That's the four barrel and the dual exhaust, okay? And as we look under here, it also has some great options. So come on, check this out. And look at how nicely detailed it is under here. Original style generators, not converted over to an alternator, right? Power steering pump is located in the right place where it's supposed to be. This engine is the same engine they made for, for 50 years, but the power steering would have been moved over here, right, as it got on and on. So nothing has been really altered in this area. The hinges are painted a different color. Everything's not black like, uh, like you see some uh, aerosol overhaul restorations. The blower motor works like it's supposed to. GM hoses with the correct clamps on there. Oil bath air cleaner, battery topper, radiator, all this stuff here, just beautifully done. The horns are there. You say, well, what is the big deal about horns? Well, you know, so many cars come to us without horns or at least even working horns. And so we like to make sure all that works. So when you get in this car, it's turnkey and you can go for a drive. That's the whole experience behind this. All right, so now we've, we've looked at the outside. We've, we've done all the stuff here. Now let's see where you're gonna spend most of your time and that's inside here. Now listen, you wanna take two couples out this holds six people in this car comfortably. Six people. Look at the size of the rear seat, okay? Comes with a full power convertible top, right? So it's weatherproof as well, so you can drive this, let's get stuck in the rain or something like that. You're good to go, all right? But when we get in here, we get in here to an experience. Oops. All right, so the experience is this. Stock radio in the dash. The original clock is there. The gauges are all there. The correct steering wheel is in place, right? It's all detailed the way it's supposed to be. Automatic transmission's right where it's supposed to be, all right? It's just nicely finished. This is all painted and detailed, the tops of it. The new interior it looks so great. The black carpets, I mean, it's just, uh, I don't know. See, you say, well, why do you love this car so much? Well, I love this car so much because it has style that some other cars don't have. If you look at today's modern car, they're great cars. There's no doubt about it. But nothing has style like this. When you wheel on down the road in this car, man, this is, this is it. You put your arm here, you got one finger on the steering wheel because you got power steering, you got big brakes on this car, and you're good to go anywhere you want to go. All right, so. This is probably the last time I'm gonna get out of this car because it's probably gonna be in your driveway next. But let me explain a couple of things to you that tell you the difference between investment grade and a car, right? There are old cars and you say, well, this car is more expensive than some of the other cars I've seen. You're absolutely right. And the reason why it's more expensive is because it will continue to go up in value. I can't predict the future, but we know that this car wasn't the price that it was when it was new today. I mean, it was probably three or so thousand dollars back then. It's no longer three or so thousand dollars. All right, so red oxide floors detailed underneath this car. Look at the pictures. There's an enormous amount of effort that goes into that. The big wire wheels with the wide whites look really great. If you want stock wheels and hubcaps, okay, we can go ahead and convert this car over to that if that's what you like. If you want the natural, original style look to that, no problem, we can do that. Power pack, automatic transmission, power steering, beautiful interior. This is an original 683 coated car. So this car was originally Matador Red, right? And, uh, and that's rare, that's really rare to have. So many cars are painted this color because it looks so great. This, like, this car left the factory that way. White power convertible top. I mean, it's just a wonderful, wonderful car. Anyway, 301-816-1000. 301-816-1000. The reason why you want to call that is because I need to know where to ship it. Just let me know and we'll handle that for you. All right, so uh, one of the things I like to do is I like to think to myself, okay, if I own this car, how much, how much fun am I gonna have in it? I already know that. Is it, is it like authentic? Is it a real car? And, and what makes it different than other cars? Why this car over some other body else's car? These are some of the things. For instance, this is really bone stock in here. And you hear this? First off, that's a dual exhaust. We'll hear that in just a second, but there's a little whine that you hear. Hear that? That's a power glide transmission whine. And that means that this car's got the original style cast iron power glide transmission in it. It's got the, the four barrel with the dual exhaust for the power pack. And now get a little sound of the exhaust coming out the back and tell me what you think. <laughs> 